Hello everybody, we're making a quick video here. Um, I made a couple videos uh, about retail recently and the ups and downs of that game. And I've been working in sales retail uh, for almost a decade now. And uh, today was the day. I uh, I quit. I I walked out. I, uh, you know, it just wasn't planned. It just happened. It was like it was destiny. It was supposed to happen today. And honestly, I actually tried to avoid it because it wasn't a good day. But it happened the last minute before my, I couldn't hang on for one minute. Um, but you know what? How do I feel? I feel, I feel amazing. I feel incredible. I feel like a weight has been lifted. I feel like the shackles have come off and I've been chained up in some dark basement for the past 50 years and I walk outside and the sun burns my eyes and but it hurts but it the sun on my face feels so freaking good and it doesn't even matter because I'm free and I can smell the salt air I can hear an ocean in the in the distance and I just want to run really fast drive fast and fly and, and and paint pictures and spin cotton candy and jump in those ball pits at the McDonald's plague place I just feel so good and I, I don't regret it. And, um, you know, it just, I haven't been doing good, depressed and, um, can't fake the smile at the shift and the disrespect. Oh, what the, oh, the light went out right in the middle of the production here. Okay. Hold on. Sorry about that. But, you know, it was the end of my shift one minute before and I couldn't hang on. And, uh, you know, I had to walk away and I heard a customer screaming and I realized it was about me because I walked away, but screaming at other employees. So I had to confront her because it was my fault, not anybody else's. But I gave her the speech on respect and how the customer isn't always right, but they're allowed to be wrong. It's that moment as a retail worker where you dream and you, 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 Think about that exit, that ultimate exit, what you would say if you could. I did it. I did it today. I gave a speech on respect, and then I gave the double middle fingers, and I said, go F yourself, and it was not the best thing to do, probably. You know, I don't condone that, but you know what? I don't regret it at all. It was absolutely amazing. It was so good. And, it, you know, like I said, I tried to avoid it. It was a tough customer, a tough cookie. You wouldn't crumble, you know? It was... It was a chip that just didn't taste good. And, you know, even if you try to dip it in the salsa to bring up the flavor, it still was not good. So you put a Corona next to it and to, you know, maybe give it some extra, you know, pizzazz. And it just it was a shitty chip. The chip just was shit. And uh, there's nothing I could do. And it was that moment it was supposed to happen. It was destiny. And uh, I'm free. And uh, anybody else in the retail game that's being disrespected because your company um, puts customers first, which makes sense because they need money, but there's no ceiling on the disrespect and the customers will take as much as humanly possible. And um, just so they don't lose their reputation, I feel for you. And, uh, you know, I have to find a new job and I'm sure I will. I'll be fine. And, uh, you know, for everybody that's still in there in the trenches taking grenades, you know, my heart is there with you. And uh, I did it for you today. And um, keep your head up and uh, keep trucking. Take care.